Hello there, I'm Sean Grizzly. Welcome to Volume 6 of our Visual Basic tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be briefly discussing logic gates. Okay, it might sound like a pretty scary word, but logic gates come in three different forms. Well, more than three, but we will discuss the basic three. And, I'll write these on all on one line, otherwise Visual Basic doesn't like this. And, or and not. As you can see we have used and in the example above because if the user text is more than zero and it's less than five then we want to tell them they are a baby. Okay. Now let's have a look closely at the others here. Let's simplify this a little. Okay. So what we're doing is the user will enter their age. If it's between naught and five then we want to tell them they're our baby. The question is why should we use the AND logic gate here? Well, if we choose OR, it might make perfectly good sense if it's more than zero or it's less than five. Well, you, it might work in the literary English sense but in the programming sense that will not work because if they enter a number more than zero or it's less than five then we're going to do this so I think when we execute the program it might display this line twice because if we enter the number three it is more than zero it's also less than five so it's true for both of these so I think we might get that twice okay so the proper logic gate to use here is and because it needs to be less than that and it needs to be less than that, sorry, more than zero and less than five. Okay, the NOT statement is quite clever in the way that it works because if we reverse this statement and more than or equal to five, that is also true and this will function exactly the same three sorry yes oh, I see I see um, that would work in the else command sorry so if we enter three you are a baby okay the reason for this working here is because if we enter the number three uh, the user text is three less than zero no or is it more than equal to five no, so it's looking in the outs command. The reason or works here is because less than naught and more than five is not a solid range. It's two separate blocks of numbers. If we concentrate on the range between naught and five, that is one solid range, so we use the and. But because these aren't joined together in any way, we need to use the or. If you think about it hard enough, it does make sense. So remember when we're searching in a number range, which connects like one, two, three, four, five. We can use the AND operator, otherwise, use the OR operator. Okay, now you notice that when we use the OUTS command, this sentence functions quite well because three is not less than zero, it's not more than five, so we're going to run the OUTS condition. To make this function, we can use the NOT logic gate by doing this. If 3 is not this and it's not that, then run this. What not does, it reverses your whole statement here. So if this doesn't work, it will work. If it did work, it won't work. So hopefully, when we enter the number 3, you are a baby. It does work this reverses the whole statement, it's just like a not if we have not not it won't work, if we have not 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 it will work every one you add will reverse it So that's what the not command does, that's what the and command does and this is what the or command does this has been Sean Greasley, I've been listening to volume number 5 I think we're on now and you've been listening to Logic Gates. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorials on the website and goodbye.